Hello, this is a day of progress on my tower defense game, Cake City. Wishlist on Steam, by the way. Last time I wasn't able to change the enemy's color based on their status effect. But that changed overnight and it works now. Well, actually, you just forgot to record it, didn't ya? Shh! Who asked you? Today I wanted to extend my particle system to include pollen noise. After a little bit of coding I had a checkbox to toggle pollen noise on the particles and four additional fields to control the flow direction and strength or amplitude. So far so good, but the reason I did that was so I could animate fire. So I quickly drew a blob and tried various settings. But nothing really seemed to look like fire. I do have to admit that this is the first time I do particles, so obviously I suck. Thankfully a viewer in chat helped me out and showed me his sprite. Am I the only person who thinks that this is actually an alien portal? But actually, if you take a look at the sprite, or rather the channels more closely, it's simple to understand. The green channel contains a small noise texture, the red channel actually contains the sprite, and the blue channel, in this case, he told me that it's not used. But it could be used for something else. It's so simple, yet so ingenious, it blew my mind. But when I first saw this, I was so confused, I felt like a monkey trying to make a game. There's also another trick he taught me. You can mix from red to yellow, based on the opacity of the sprite. I then tried to draw my own flame, so I could test it out myself. It took a couple of attempts, but in the end I got to a somewhat decent looking flame. Now I quickly wanted to talk about something else, which is a little bit more technical. When I fused the particles together with the Perlon noise, I noticed that I was duplicating data on the particles and on the particle emitter. And I don't know what I should think about this. It's actually data duplication, but I like the simplicity working with this. So I don't know. Maybe you can tell me in the comments if you have any idea. And while you're down there, you might as well like the video and subscribe. Hmm? I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you to my five Patreons for supporting me on this journey. And see you on the next one. Peace.